Welcome to Tickabilla. Way, way, <laughs> hey, Sarah Jane, look, I've got jelly wobble legs. <laughs> wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Oh, Justin, do you know what? I think I'm going to have jelly wobbles too. Whoa! <laughs> Can you make your legs jelly wobble? <laughs> <laughs> Justin, Justin, I think the jelly wobbles have gone to my arms. Oh, I think you're right, <laughs> Wee. I've got jelly wobble arms too. Are your arms jelly wobbling? <gasps> Woo! Oh, no, Justin, Justin, what? the jelly wobbles have gone to my head. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, mine too. Heady jelly wobbles. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, it's Amber. <laughs> What are you two doing? <laughs> We've got jelly wobbly bodies. <laughs> and if I touch you with my jelly wobbly arms... <laughs> You'll get the jelly wobbles too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. 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 You know what? I think the jelly wobbles have gone. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, though. I'm all nice and warmed up and ready for a good, lively song. Yeah. And why don't you join in too? <laughs> Are you ready to move your body? And you're ready to sing! Yeah! Are you ready to jive? <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go, here we go, here we go! Oh, oh hey yo! Everybody clap to the music! Here we go! Everybody clap to the music! <laughs> clap your hands and do a little wiggle! One, two, three, four, five! Take it to the side! Into the middle, we're doing the Tikka Villa Jive. Right, get ready to do some stretching. Oh, hey, yo, everybody stretch, stretch to the music. Here we go, everybody stretch to the music. Uh, uh. Stretch up high and do a little wiggle. One, two, three, four, five. Take it to the side and back into the middle. We're doing the ticker filler jive. <laughs> What's next? Oh, way yo, start to move your head to the music. Here we go, move your head in time with the music. Move your head and do a little wiggle. Into the middle, we're doing the Tickabilla Jive. Here we go. Oh, oh hey, yeah. everybody wobbles to the music. Ooh. Here we go, everybody wobbles to the music. Ooh. Wobble to the music and do a little wiggle. One, two, three, four, five. Take it to the Jelly wobble legs and see what time it is on the ticker billa clock. Ticker billa, talker billa, ticker billa, talk. What's the time on the ticker billa clock? Let's have a look, shall we? Well, the long hand is pointing up to the number 12, so that means it's something o'clock. And the short hand is pointing to the number one. So the clock says it's one o'clock. But what's underneath the clock today? It's a wheelbarrow. 
and there's a wheelbarrow in today's story. Isn't there, Justin? Could be, Sarah Jane. Now, today's story is called When I Grow Bigger. When I grow bigger, I'm going to reach up, up, up to the ceiling, said Leanne. When I grow bigger, I'm going to reach up, up, up to the clouds, said Sam. When I grow bigger, I'm going to reach up, up, up to the sky, said Natalie. Thomas looked up at them. Like three tall towers they were. And they looked down at him and laughed. You're just a baby, said Natalie, patting Thomas on the head. You're just a nipper, said Sam, bending down to look at Thomas. You're just a little un, said Leanne, trying to pick Thomas up. But Thomas wriggled and squirmed until he got free. Leave me alone, Thomas thought. But the words didn't come out. Just... <coughs> and that's what they did. They left Thomas alone, all alone, sitting by Thomas's dad's daffodils. And they, the three big people, went off to play in Thomas's dad's wheelbarrow. You get in, said Natalie. I'll push, said Sam. You can't, you're too small, said Leanne. Thomas watched them, the three big people, quarrelling. I want to push, said Natalie. Let me, said Sam. Get off, said Leanne. And she grabbed the handles of Thomas's dad's wheelbarrow. Thomas watched them, the three big people, fighting. Ow, said Natalie. You, said Sam. I'm telling, said Leanne, running towards the house. Along came Thomas's dad's feet. Thomas didn't look up, but he knew that they were dad's feet because he had green wellies on. Mum's were red. Dad's green wellies stopped by the daffodils. He nearly tripped over Thomas. Whoops! <laughs> didn't see you there, said Dad. Thomas was not happy. Then Dad stooped down to pick Thomas up. But Thomas wriggled and squirmed and tried to get free. Hey, what's up? said Dad. And then Leanne yelled, They're fighting! So Thomas's dad held on tight to Thomas and ran. He started it, said Natalie. No, I didn't, said Sam. Leanne caught up and huffed and puffed. OK, OK, said Thomas's dad. I don't want to know. Just play properly, all of you. Thomas's dad put Thomas in the wheelbarrow. Natalie and Sam took the handles and Leanne looked cross. Hmm, there's nothing to do, Leanne said. Hmm, said Natalie. And Sam sat down. Thomas looked over the side of the wheelbarrow. It was a long way down. The baby wants to get out, said Natalie. OK, OK, said Sam. I'll do it, said Leanne. No, I will, said Natalie. Thomas's dad looked over. So Natalie helped Leanne to get Thomas out. Sam held the handles of Thomas's dad's wheelbarrow. Hmm, I wish you would hurry up and grow big, said Leanne. Yeah, I'd wish you'd hurry up, said Sam. Natalie shook her head. Oh, he's just a baby, she said. Hmm, moaned Leanne. <sighs> what should we do now, yawned Sam. I don't know, said Natalie. I know, said Leanne. And she started to go towards the house. Thomas's dad was watching, so Natalie and Sam held Thomas's hand. Come on, said Sam. Hurry up, whispered Leanne. Natalie sighed. What are we doing now? 
We're going to do something, said Leanne. What? asked Sam. Yes, what? said Natalie. Make Thomas grow, Leanne said. <coughs> cried Thomas. Dad stopped and smiled. What are you up to? Thomas's dad said. Mm, nothing, said Natalie. Nothing, said Sam. Uh, nothing, said Leanne. And they went inside. I'll hold his hands, said Leanne. I'll hold his feet, said Sam. What about me? said Natalie. What about you? said Thomas's dad. Um, we're only playing, said Natalie and Sam and Leanne. Thomas put his arms up to Dad. Dad picked him up. Thomas was almost as high as the ceiling. And then Thomas's dad went outside. Thomas was almost as high as the clouds. Thomas's hands were up in the air, almost as high as the sky. And Thomas was laughing. <laughs> Natalie and Sam and Leanne watched. When I grow bigger, said Leanne. Oh, be quiet, said Sam. Yes, be quiet, said Natalie, looking up, up, up at big Thomas having fun. I bet Thomas had a great time on his dad's shoulders. Have you noticed when you're up high, everything below you looks different? From way up high, almost touching the sky, look down and see, what can it be? Well, it's something that's pointy and it looks a bit like a roof. Hmm, I... Oh, oh, it's not pointy at all. It's a rectangle shape. And it's the book that Justin was reading. Did you guess it? What else can we see? From way up high, almost touching the sky, look down and see. What can it be? What's that on the floor? Well, it's round. It could be a ball or a hole, or, um, a... <laughs> it's the Tickabilla table. <laughs> Did you guess it? Now what else can we see? From way up high, almost touching the sky, look down and see. What can it be? Ooh, it's a wobbly shape with a brown bit in the middle. Hmm, can you guess what it is? Did you guess it? <laughs> now then, how about if you were a giraffe? This is how you'd see things, isn't it? You'd be so tall, you'd look down on everything. A bit like Sarah Jane was. But what about if you were something much, much, much smaller? A bit like a tiny, tiny little ant. You'd see things very differently then. You'd have to look up at everyone as they walked past. Hey, why don't we pretend that you're a tiny little ant? Are you ready? Okay. Hiya, Justin. We, who said that? It, oh, oh. <laughs> hello down there, little ant. How are you? I'm fine. Yourself? Oh, I'm very well, thank you very much. Goodbye. <whistles> hey, we're going to see some real ants through one of the windows today. How many windows? One, two, three. Round, square or arched, which one will it be? It's the arched window. Look at this leaf. It looks like something's been eating it. Ants. These ants are called 
leaf cutter ants. These ants can cut up leaves with their jaws. Their jaws are sharp like a pair of scissors. When they have cut out a piece of leaf, they carry it back to the nest. Look at all these ants carrying bits of leaf down the tree. These ants must be very strong, because those bits of leaf are much bigger and heavier than they are. There they go, down into their underground nest. In the nest, they use the leaf bits to build a garden. This is where they grow food for all the ants in the nest. Leaf cutter ants are like gardeners, aren't they? Look at all these ants! They are called fire ants. And these fire ants can float on top of water. If the whole nest joins in and they all hold together, they can make an ant raft. A raft is a kind of flat boat. Then they are ready to go sailing. <laughs> it can't be very comfortable all huddled together like that. Dry land at last. Everybody off. Grubs and eggs first. These fire ants are like sailors, aren't they? Leaf cutter ants like gardening, and fire ants like sailing. Next time you're in your garden, have a look at what your ants are doing. I've ripped up some pieces of paper and I'm going to show you how to make a jungle scene. Oh, no. I love jungles. <laughs> yes, so do I. Shall I start by making some trees? Okay. Okay. There are lots of trees in the jungle. There are lots of trees in the jungle, Jamba. Oh. I thought it might be quite nice to make some stripy trees. So I'm going to put two thick lines of glue on my oh. paper. Now then. I've got a piece of... Do you know what colour that is, Tamba? It's brown. Brown paper here. And then I'm going to use a piece of... Orange. Orange paper. So if mm. this is going to be a stripy tree, Tamba, what colour do you think comes next? Uh, we've got brown, then orange, then brown. Yes! Then Orange yes. brown, orange brown, orange brown. Well done, Tamba. That will very make it good. very stripy. It will. It'll make it look lovely. Now, on the other side, should we start with orange? What do you think? Yeah. Yes. So we'll put orange, then, then brown, brown, then, then orange, yes. then brown, yes. then orange, then brown. <gasps> well, no. But you did one too many, so it goes orange, brown, orange, brown, orange. <laughs> now then, let's make the leaves. So I'm going to put lots of glue at the top of my... Splodge. The top of your trunk. The top of my trunk, yeah, Tumba. A... Well done. And then I've got some green paper here, look. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to rip that to make leaves. Ah. I'm going to put one leaf there. One there. Two. Two. And one there. I think that's it, don't you? Uh, I think you should put another one on. OK, we'll put don't one you? more on then. <laughs> there we go. How many is that, Tamba? Four. Four. That's better. So how many should we do on this tree? Hmm. How many leaves? How many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five on this one. Five on that one. Let's mm -hmm. have a look then. We've got one, two. two. You're counting with us. Three. <laughs> what comes after three? Oh, four. Four. Five. five. Yeah. Now, 
then. I'm going to put an animal into my jungle scene. I... See if you can guess what this animal is. Yeah. There, I'll put some glue there for his body and glue there for the animal's head. Yeah. And look, here's the animal's body. And the animal is grey. Grey, I A see. A grey animal, so we'll put the body, body there. Right. And a grey head. Hmm. Now then. What could that be? A mm. grey body, a grey head, and... He's got... Why don't you count the legs with me? Okay. Ready? One, One two, two, three... three. Four legs. Uh, it could be a mouse. <gasps> it could be a mouse. It could be. It's got a. Uh, what do you think this is? It's a tail. It's got a tail, but it's not a very long tail, really, is it? Uh. Mm, and this animal is a lot, lot bigger than a mouse. Uh. And it's also got. Uh, what could that be? Big ears. <laughs> It's got and big ears, little tail. It's got two eyes. We'll put an eye there, and then it's got a very special nose, which oh. is very long. Wait a minute! <laughs> I think I've guessed it. Have you? Ah, uh, yeah. Have you? It's an elephant. Yes, Dan, but you're right. <laughs> hey, hi, hey, you two. Oh, What's up? Covered. Oh, what are you doing? Ah, why don't you guess what we've been doing, Justin? Oh, all right, then. Oh, that looks good. Is that a jungle? It, it is, is a jungle. But there's something behind that leaf, is there? Yes, yes right. an animal. And ah. can you guess what it is? Well, it's grey, and that looks like a big swishy tail. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Nothing, Justin. Is that can not a tail? Have... Shall we have a look at the other side? All right, then. Oh, I see. Oh, Ooh. that's a tail. <laughs> oh, right, yes. okay. It's got a big grey body, four legs. Oh, I know what that is. That's the trunk. Yes. That's the head. Oh, and a big ear. And I think this animal goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. an elephant. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Justin. Oh, thank you. Was it hard? Well, it was a little tricky, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I was on the way to play a game that I've just made up. Do you want to have a go? <gasps> yes, yes, please. Come on, then. <laughs> Look at this. Wow! It's a scary tiger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, but there's something missing, Justin. Hmm. Oh, yes, it's got no tail. That's right, Tamba, because I have got the tail over here. See? Uh -huh. <laughs> now, this game's called Pin the Tail on the Tiger. <gasps> can I go first? Yeah, of course you can, Sarah Jane. OK. That's it. Now, if you stand there, hang on a minute. I've got a blindfold here, and I'm just going to pop that over your eyes so you can't see what you're doing. Can you okay. see? OK. No, no, <laughs> I can't see anything. Great. Right then. Now, hang on a minute. That's too easy. We're going to start you over here. <laughs> Uh, stop! Right. Are you ready, Sarah Jane? Yep. OK. Now, the nearer Sarah Jane gets to the tiger, the louder Tamba and I are going to roar. Are you going to roar with us? Right, OK. Here we go. Here we go. Good luck. OK. Are you ready, Tamba? Yeah. Oh, not very near at the moment. <sighs> oh, getting closer. <laughs> <gasps> getting very close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Not bad, Sarah Jane. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to go now, Tamba? Oh, yes, please. OK. Right, OK. I'll pop the blindfold on. Okay. Right, I'm just going to bend your ears back. This might be ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Steady. Can you see? <laughs> OK, where's your hand? Here's the oh, tail. That's Thank it. You. Are you ready, Tamba? Yeah. Right, now don't forget, the closer Tamba gets to the tiger, roar out loud. Right, OK. Mm. I'm going to move like a real tiger. I'm going to prowl. <sighs> All right. Well, uh, not very close at the moment. Nope. I think it's more of a... <laughs> meow. <laughs> meow. Oh, no. I must be far away. Try this way. Oh, getting closer. <gasps> <gasps> oh, getting very close now. 
It's really loud. He must be here somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to try here. Wow! <laughs> not bad, Tamba. <laughs> <Like two. laughs> Let's have a look, shall we? Let's take this off. Careful. <laughs> Ooh, look at look. that. And you know, Tamba, I like the way you moved like a tiger to the tiger. <laughs> yeah, I love the way animals move. How does a snail move, do you know? How does a snail move, do you know? It slips and it slides. <laughs> it grips and it glides. <laughs> now you know, now you know. <laughs> How does a snake move, do you know? How does a snake move, do you know? It slinks and it slides. From side to side. Does a duck move? Do you know? How does a duck move? Do you know? It slips and it flaps. It flaps and it quacks. Now we know. Now we know. Spider move, do you know? How does a spider move, do you know? It climbs down the drain. <laughs> and over Sarah Jane. Whoa, and Tamba. <laughs> and back again. <laughs> yes. Now we know. Why don't you try moving like an animal? <laughs> I think I like the snail best. And I like being a tiger tumbler. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>